Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to inject, in this case, BPC-157 or testosterone or insulin, anything that my patients have iron DPC may be needing to inject. I found this to be the best way for delivering medications through my research. What we'll need is we'll need a tuberculin syringe. We will need a 22 gauge one inch needle and we will need a 30 gauge insulin needle the alcohol prep pad, and the material that you are injecting. For today, I'll be demonstrating how to inject with BPC-157. You can watch my video on that if you're interested in that peptide. So what I have done is I've attached the 22 gauge to the tuberculin syringe. I'm gonna use an alcohol prep pad to clean the vial. And then I'm going to clean the area of skin that I'm going to be injecting for myself. I have been injecting into the deltoid. Um, that's, in my case, an intramuscular injection. Uh, you can also inject in fat. That is a subcutaneous injection where you would just grab a bit of fat. We can do that here for you all. We clean off the fat area with the alcohol prep pad. And that would be our area of injection. So what we're gonna do is draw back on the needle. For me, I'm using 0.15 mLs. We inject into the bottle, a little bit of air, draw back the amount we would like. I then draw back a little bit of air as well. That's because BPC-157 is like liquid gold, it's kind of expensive. So I have my brick and syringe full of the liquid. I'm going to attach the 30 gauge insulin needle. I'll cooperate here. And then I'm gonna eyeball it, look at my contents here and slowly push up until I can see a little tiny droplet that's it. I have 1.5 mLs and my area previously cleaned. Obviously you could clean it again if you're worried about it, but I know where I hit myself. I'm going to then poke myself into the fat and simply inject. It's very painless because it's a 30 gauge needle. It feels like maybe a mosquito or less. And that's it. No bleeding. Very simple. Um, and to dispose of these simple uh, Publix gallon plastic water bottle, you can get rid of the water and you put these in there and you close the top and that's going to be your disposal for these. It goes in uh, regular garbage, you can mark it with biohazard if you'd like. Um, everything else goes in the trash. The reasons we would want to use tiny as well, one, it's painless. That's easier to do, and we don't waste any of our material, right? If we're buying BPC-157, or if we're injecting testosterone, or if we're using insulin, they're very expensive materials, we don't want to waste any. And that's why we use that technique of drawing back a little bit of air, and slowly pushing up our material into a 30 gauge insulin needle when we have it. Um, another reason is for my gentlemen using testosterone injections, I'm I don't want them to have super physiologic levels and then drop off in a couple of days. That's why I like microdosing throughout the week. That's one very easy way to do it. You just inject yourself with testosterone in the morning um, instead of doing it, say, twice a week, as some uh, conventional practitioners will have patients do, or you know, go in every two weeks for an injection. Doing it more often and at lower doses mimics the body's natural rhythm of testosterone where it comes up in the morning. Right? You can mimic that with smaller doses rather than doing a super physiologic dose, shooting up super high and then having it taper off over a couple of days until you hit yourself with the next injection. The benefit of uh, you know obviously smaller materials like BPC-137, it's not a lot of volume. Of course, we would want to use a 30 gauge insulin needle and we would want to use a 22 gauge needle to draw it up in. And we wouldn't want to inject ourselves with a 22 gauge because it's a harpoon. It hurts a lot, you know? So it's quick, it's painless, there's no bleeding, it's easy. Hope you guys enjoyed this lecture.